keyboard from Technet um, or produced by Technet and as I say the reason why we got it was because it was advertised on the likes of Amazon and stuff for, for it being a whisper quiet keyboard now people could say well why don't you kind of just um, move him somewhere else now we could do but unfortunately where we move him to which would be his bedroom it it doesn't have any kind of wi-fi signal and also we wouldn't want him kind of moving away from the living room because he's only 10 and at the end of the day i know that sometimes they do want their own kind of privacy but you know they, they they're aren't they're, they're only young and you know you don't want them kind of going into their room and disappearing for hours on end so that's the reason why we kind of gone for something that is um yeah, you know, just trying to answer a problem really that we've got. And it is a first world problem, believe me. Um, but this one here is designed to be um, quiet. It's got scissor keys to it, which I believe, um, which is what it says on the website. And I've got, I've got to be honest with you, we've had this for about six months now. Now, just having a look around it, as you can see here, it has got, a, uh, it's nice and small in comparison to the other keyboard, which I can show you later on. Um, it's not a fully featured one like the previous one I quickly showed you. So there's no numeric pad, there's no arrow keys. Um, it does feature a, um, if you use the function key and you can change the media keys here, um, which I'm kind of, uh, which I'm kind of showing you here. And those are highlighted in blue. So if I can zoom just, uh, so as you can see there, you can see that the actual media keys are highlighted in a blue and they um, they operate by you pressing the function key there and then the combination of that. Also, as I say, it is battery powered, um, which is accessible via that, which is simply open like that. And there you go, you got your two actual batteries sitting there. Now, these batteries here, um, it does say it has a, a a kind of it lasts for about two years on the battery power now unfortunately because I mean obviously this gets a, a good use every day and I would assume that if this was used in an office and all that that it would be the same kind of environment where it would be used every day and I've got to admit it doesn't last that long um, it lasts longer if you use batteries like Duracell and possibly rechargeable because they seem to have a bit more power about them but if you use kind of anything that's um, Aldi or Wilco batteries or anything that's a bit cheap they do go quite quick and it doesn't kind of go and switch off it or you start to not get keys and stuff like that pressing and stuff like that but I only noticed that when my son's moaning that Roblox doesn't work as well as it does because the actual space car's not cut space bar isn't working as well as it normally does and that just indicates to me that the battery's not working as well now it does, as I say, it does have a battery indicator here. If I can just uh, again focus, I'm gonna have to. There you go. It does have a battery indicator there, which if I was to um, find the switch, which you will find just there, just to turn it on. Um, I'll just do it there again. So as you can see, it illuminates to say the battery's okay and it's ready to be used. And in terms of um, use, and the, the main reason why we got this for was because we wanted something that was quiet and comfortable. Now, in terms of comfort, you know, the, the actual comfort, you know, it is it is quite a comfortable keyboard. It does feel like it's something that you'd find on a laptop, if anything, with these scissor switches. And if anything, um, for a keyboard that you could probably just throw in your backpack and stick into a, a PC or something like that if you ever needed to or just a keyboard that you can just kind of stow away and stuff like that I've got to admit it's, it is a good keyboard and in terms of kind of the quality of it you know it does flex a little as you can see here but for a, a child of 10 who uses this every day uh, gets hours of play out of the likes of Ro Robux and stuff like that it does take a hammer in this and it still works i mean i would imagine that the battery is probably now indicating to me that it's it's on its way out so i probably will have to change them sooner or else my son will just jump up and down um but in terms of how quiet it is what i wanted to do is uh, i just wanted to com you know kind of do a comparison com between the two keyboards that i've showed you so there's that one there which is what i'm featuring on this video and there's this one here again 
this one here. So what I was going to do is just a little like for like comparison. I've got like a, a, a uh, a decibel meter here which I'm just going to quickly put which is just an app off for laptop and then you can just see the difference in the decibels when I type on keyboard A which is this one and oh or well, better still Sainsbury's keyboard there and TechNet there so just hang on and I'll get it all set up right then I've got the decibel meter set up which is just a little app I've got on the iPhone and as you can see my talking level is about 60 59 60 um, I can shout a bit more so it goes up to 70 70 what have you and it kind of says what it is so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you what it will be like with keyboard one and then I'm going to show you what it will be like with the oh, sorry keyboard one being the old one being the uh, kind of full keyed one which is what we got from Sainsbury's and keyboard two being the TechNet one so I'm going to do them um, with the uh, decibel meter just underneath them so you can see it for a kind of um, like a controlled experiment and then you can just kind of make your own decision from there I mean this isn't scientific or anything but it just gives you an idea of the you know the kind of different sound levels that you do get with this keyboard Right then, I'm going to be quiet and then I'm going to just type in um, the lazy fox or anything on the keyboard here and then we can kind of see the um, the decibels or the, the kind of the indication of volume that you get from a keyboard like the or original keyboard compared to what will be the whisper one. So this is the old keyboard which is keyboard one which is the same as one. Right, so as you can see, that kind of jumped up to around the 60, 65 mark, just uh, from looking at the video. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the TechNet one, just to see if there's any much of a difference. And I'm going to place it in the same position with the same amount of space away. Right then, here's the TechNet one. Um, what we're going to do is the same as what we did previously. Uh, just, just type some random stuff on the keyboard and you can see how much the actual... Um, decibels go up or down in comparison to the keyboard that we're showing now and the keyboard we're going to show after. So here we go. So as you can see there, not as much as the uh, keyboard that, sorry, the keyboard that was previous to this, which was the Sainsbury's, uh, as it were, their kind of, uh, it's not their branded one, but it is a one sold in Sainsbury's for about £10. Um, it's not as, as loud or as kind of as obnoxious as that one, um, but it does have a certain amount of volume to it. So there you go, you can see the difference. Right then, here we are. We have a, a what would be a mechanical keyboard that we have featured on the channel. Um, it is, I'll pop, if I remember to pop a card in or a link at the bottom, it, you can find it from there. And it's a, kind of a cheap, cheapy one which has got RGB lighting and all sorts of malarkey going on from eBay. Uh, paid about £15 for it, but it does hold them lovely cherry cherry effect switches really. I'm not, I'm not sure if they are actual cherry switches, but they are, uh, as it were, it is a mechanical keyboard. So... They are inherently louder, but I just wanted to show you how much louder it is compared to what I've showed you there, which is the Technic, which is quieter in, the, in its operation. So here we go. So yes, okay, I probably just hammered the keyboard a bit more there because it can take a bit more abuse. But again, it just shows that the Technic is a little bit quieter in the it's um as it were it's noise levels when you do actually use um kind of uh, you know like a compared to like a the older keyboard that i've featured and the um, this one here so it does have some kind of silent or quieter tendencies to it right now the only thing I've mentioned, obviously, uh, with this keyboard, um, go, moving on from the um, sound level of checks and stuff like that, it does affix to your PC via this little USB dongle, which will go in a USB 2 or USB 3 um, fitting. Um, now, I haven't really noticed any speed difference compared to USB or, sorry, USB 2 or USB 3, so uh, to me it makes no odds. Um, but saying that though, um, in terms of response times and stuff like that, 
it's it's okay. Um, it it doesn't it doesn't make me think. Oh my god, I'm typing, you know, in glue and stuff like that. And my son, he uses it for a lot of quick reaction games, like the likes of Roblox and stuff like that. And it is very good. Um, in terms of the quality, as I say, quality wise, you know, it, it is plastic and it does have a certain amount of flex to it. But for the price that we paid, which is about the fifteen pound mark. You know, it'd be the kind of quality I would expect for this sort of thing. I mean, it works really well. Um, it's always on. Um, the battery's not the... It's not the two years that we've had stated, because we have changed the batteries a couple of times in the six months that we've had it. But it does get used every day. And I mean every day. And it gets absolutely hammered. And uh, why I'm, I'm, I'm just surprised this isn't broken, to be fair. But it, it does stand up to the test of start time. Um, it's a great little unit that fits... You know, it fits in on any desk. Um, you will get a lot of space kind of from it, as it were, because you haven't got that extra num numeric keypad. Sorry, keypad. And I've got to say, I mean, looking at the reviews on Amazon as well, do kind of back up what I think. And it is a great little keyboard. And, you know, if you can get past the part because it hasn't got like a numeric keypad, uh, sorry, keypad, or um, as it were, purpose made. Um, multimedia sort of buttons and stuff like that and you, you want something that's without wires and stuff like that and you don't want to pay a lot of money then i've got to say i do recommend this keyboard it's a great keyboard um we've had it six months it's not give us any problems other than obviously going through batteries uh, but that's just through general use and you know would i buy another one i would definitely buy another one of these it is it, it's a great little keyboard and it wouldn't go wrong in using them what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd just quickly show you this keyboard in situ against like a, an Apple keyboard and stuff like that. And with its, you know, the kind of same scissor switches or the same feel that it has. Is, I mean, this is a touch quieter, but again, you know, you're paying £50 for that at certain retailers compared to the likes of this, which is, you know, I paid £15 for uh, to get it for my son. Um, but it does fit in quite easily there on the uh, laptop that I've got. Uh, this is a MacBook Pro, which is from 2014. 14 2015 um, and it fitted in no problem at all it didn't need any software i mean obviously it came up on screen with you know do, because it recognized it as a wireless keyboard it wanted to go through some parameters so um what i thought i'd quickly do is just just type some bits and pieces and just to show you it working so if i zoom out and you'll have to forgive the uh the slight chaos that's here but uh <laughs> there you go um so as you can see you know it is uh it is good in the way that I can just type and and it does you know just does, does do it really well um I mean obviously I'm pressing the backspace and it isn't doing everything you know like it doesn't suddenly delete everything but you know it, it, it is you know if I was to kind of type stuff you know I mean obviously the Apple keyboard is a lot quieter but you are paying a lot more for that but you know it ty type stuff it all works carriage return yeah that works capitals uh, caps lock there you go you've got the actual caps lock indicator there and again it all works well now i'll just plug it into the pc as well which i've got kind of situated under here and you can just see it working on the pc as well so just give me a second i'll do that for you right as you can see i've plugged it into the pc um which is um that one there now interestingly it does have a, a wireless mouse on this pc as well that i've uh, fitted to it so um, it'd be interesting. I can show you it working in tandem with each other. So just in case you was worried that that would affect uh, the the mouse that I've got. So I'm going to quickly zoom in there. So again, let me just zoom to ultra ultra wide as it were. So as you can see here, I've got a Logitech uh, wireless mouse which I use for the PC, and I've also got this keyboard connected as I've shown you down the bottom there. And if I just zoom in, or sorry, just look into the PC. And if I just move the screen round, just so you can see what's going on. So as you can see, yep, yeah, you know, it is responsive, it does work. And it works on both Mac and it works on PC as well. So, um, you know, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I can't fault it at all. And for the £15 that you pay for this keyboard, uh, in comparison to the £50, I mean, it's I use this every day and it's great. And this gets used every day hours on end probably more than this and you know it takes a passion really and it still works so it's a great keyboard it's well worth the 15 pound and it is available on amazon i haven't really seen it anywhere else i think you can possibly get it on ebay but on amazon 
you can get it and obviously they do do prime which is next day delivery or obviously you'll get it in a couple of days but you know in comparison to like having a full length keyboard it's great it gives you a bit more space on your desk to play stuff and also I don't know, I'll be honest with you, being it wireless and stuff like that, you've got loads of wires, which I have got under here. And, you know, if 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 I had my time again, I would definitely uh, get something like that. But thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you like the video. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, then please click on the old subscribe button down the bottom. Uh, if you like the video, then please give it a cheeky like. And if you want to see more videos, then, you know, by all means, click that subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.